Hello everyone, my name is Sherry Weary. I am the CEO, founder, and empowerment strategist of Weary Consultations, LLC. I'm a speaker and an author, and I specialize in empowering women and youth to rise from their pain in order to live inspired and transform lives. So let's jump right into the topic of this video. So if you have not seen the biopic that premiered this weekend on Lifetime about the legendary Clark sisters, you should definitely go check it out. They've been doing replays all weekend, and it was was really really good so I grew up within a coded church so very familiar with the Clark sisters and their music and just the impact that they have had just over the span of several decades and you know their children and their grandchildren and just you know just the awesome things that they have done just not just within a coded church but outside of the coded church and just church world just in general just a really talented anointed gifted family and as I was watching a movie like I'm a millennial so of course I you know wasn't alive for most of their lives and I didn't know just all the things that they had been through and I don't think a lot of people really knew just a lot of the challenges that they had to overcome or at least all the challenges that they had to overcome and to know those barriers and the pain that they had to experience in spite of the fact that they were out here traveling and giving hope and ministering to you know people all over the country. And the thing that I thought about today, because I watched it last night, that I was thinking about today is how the anointing is produced and how even your pain will push you into purpose. And um, just watching their lives, I'm going to be honest, I did get a little sad just knowing that just life was not easy for them. And as I was thinking about just the things that they, you know, went through and what we saw just in the movie, because that's just a glimpse of, you know, their lives, is that I wondered if the anointing would have still been produced had they had much easier lives. And I'm not saying that I'm glad that they went through what they went through. Like, not at all. I'm not saying that I'm advocating the hurt and the painful things that occurred to them. I'm not advocating that. I'm not wishing that it happened. I'm not glad that it happened to them. But what I am saying is that the I see the results of it. And it just made me wonder just what their anointing would have looked like if it still would have been present if they had not gone through what they went through. Uh, they didn't allow their pain to stop them, even though they had to take some pauses and they may have felt like giving up. Ultimately, what we see by this movie is that they pushed through that and they allowed pain to still allow them to walk in their God-given purpose and still allow the anointing to be produced in their lives. When you look at the Bible in the Old Testament, and it talks about how um, anointing oil is even produced. So anointing oil, and it's still used in churches today, is blessed oil, um, or it's called blessed oil. But what it is is that it's just crushed olives. And so in the Old Testament, when you look at how olives um, or olive oil was produced, is that you would take olives after they were grown, and then you would crush them. They would go through this really tough, destructive process in order for it to go from the form of being an olive to now being the consistency of a liquid. Uh, for it to now be an oil that can be used in uh, the religious ceremonies that took place in, you know, biblical times. And even today, again, it's still just used in, um, in churches as well. And so the only way that you get this very significant oil, this very significant liquid, is that it has to go through a painful, destructive process process. And even when you look at the Bible, when we look at the people that we admire the most, they went through some really tough things. You know, when you look at David, David was misunderstood by his brothers um, and his family and his father. You know, when you look at even Joseph, Joseph was betrayed by his brothers and sold into slavery. Um, when you look at even so many other characters in the Bible, they went through some really tough things, but still, besides or in spite of going through these really tough, painful moments, their pain actually produced the anointing on their lives. And so when you look at the anointing, the anointing really is, in its simplest terms, it is the divine or supernatural equipping of God that enables you to be able to have a deeper level of effectiveness and impact on the people that experience your gift 
gifting. And so, for instance, let's say that you can sing and you're a very gifted singer. People can enjoy hearing you sing and they can love it and say, oh, it just really is, you know, helps me to be able to feel like someone understands and they relate to me. But when you put anointing on top of a gifting, it is a deeper level of impact and effectiveness that now allows you to not only relate to people, but to give hope and to help them to overcome even what they are going through as well. And so it gives an avenue for you to be able to not only relate to people, but to push them even past um, their Ho um, hopelessness or despair or pain or whatever else that they are experiencing. And so when we look at this biopic of the Clark sisters and what they are, went through, despite those painful and challenging moments, there is still anointing that was produced out of that. Their pain pushed them into purpose and then allowed them to be able to have a deeper level of impact and effectiveness on people as they traveled all over the country ministering in song and allow them to be able to give hope to people you know, even in the midst of their own hopelessness. And so what I want to encourage everyone watching this video today, what I want to speak to you directly is that your pain is going to be able to be a vehicle that not only pushes you into purpose, but your pain can also be the vehicle that produces your anointing, that allows you to be in the position to have the supernatural gifting of God, the supernatural equipping of God, to have a deeper level of impact and effectiveness on people in spite of the fact that your life has not been easy and in spite of the fact that you have gone through some very painful moments, despite the fact that you may cry yourself to sleep to, um, every night at this point, is that that doesn't have to be the end. When you look at the lives of the Clark sisters, they have gone on and done some amazing things in spite of the challenges that they um, went through, not just as children and as young adults, but even as adults now, their lives are not perfect. But what we do see is because of the fact they allow pain to continue to push them into purpose and to produce the anointing or the supernatural um effectiveness of God upon their lives is that we're able to see that they still came out of all of that um, with a testimony of God's goodness and his grace and still came out on top, still came out with victory. And again, life isn't perfect for them and it's not perfect for any of us either. But at the end of the day, your pain never has to be the end. Allow pain to push you into purpose. Allow pain to position you to have the supernatural equipping of God the anointing rests on your life so that you can now be able to not only have hope for your own life, but that you can be a light of hope to those around you as well. All right, so take care. Make sure you check out the biopic. It's really good. It's on Lifetime. Check your local school listings to see when it will be replayed today. And if you'd like to keep in contact with me, you can check out my website at sherryweary.com. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter, or you can like my Facebook business page at Sherry C. Weary. So take care, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.